Hey everybody. Good morning. Uh, Happy Monday. Two big stories to cover this morning. Two. The first <laughs> is that Trump is fighting I'm with sorry, celebrities this is like some more. Acting. This is, hold on, I'm trying to get this right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, Trump is fighting with celebrities. <laughs> so, yes, last night there was a show on NBC. Uh, Lester Holt's NBC Nightly News did a segment about criminal justice reform. And in it, they interviewed John Legend, who maybe he's done some things. I don't know about, I have no idea. I don't follow John Legend. I don't know he anything about He sang a song he once. <laughs> hey, well, he sings some songs. He's actually a very talented singer. But, but, I, what, does he, but what does that have to do with criminal justice reform? Why do they keep know. doing this? I don't know. <laughs> But he was interviewed in that segment, and apparently Trump was watching, and this was on MSNBC. I don't know why he was watching, but he was. And so Trump went on, like, this giant Twitter storm about the show. And he was talking about, he called out John Legend specifically, he called out Van Jones and Lester Holt. Well, because Van Jones had originally, didn't he give him props at some point? Yeah. He gave him props and he for said the that. criminal justice thing. Yeah. yeah, he even said that Van Jones uh, was grateful mm -hmm. that Trump signed into law this criminal justice yeah, reform stuff. I remember liberals like losing their crap because he dared to give Trump some props for oh criminal God. justice reform or doing some good things for criminal justice reform. Yeah. And, and he actually dared to say something nice about the president and people are like oh my do god that. you can't you do can't that you can't do that yeah uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway trump it was like a four tweet thing in which he called out van jones in a nice way for you know for being grateful for the work that he did on it mm -hmm. but then he also said now that it's passed people that had virtually nothing to do with it are taking the praise guys like boring musician john legend uh -huh. and his and his filthy mouthed wife that's what he said, are now talking about how great it is, but I didn't see them around when we needed help getting it passed. Lester Holt doesn't even bring up the subject of President Trump or the Republicans when talking about the importance or the passage of You know what? Blah. He has a great freaking point. I mean, he's kind of right. He has a great point because he's, he's, Trump has done a ton for criminal justice reform. Why aren't they talking about the president? They won't give him credit for anything. Not one freaking thing. So, and they have John Legend on? What the hell? I mean, so I totally understand his I, in, his frustration. I by get that. it too. I totally get it. I mean, this is just getting to be so ridiculous, y'all. When the left, when the the mainstream media, when journalists won't report actual news. I mean, he's done amazing things for criminal justice reform, and they can't even mention. I, they have John Legend on. <laughs> I know it's it's pretty dumb. So John Legend and Chrissy Teigen are both enraged and they cannot stop fighting about it. John Legend tweeted, imagine being president of a whole country and spending your Sunday night hate watching MSNBC, hoping somebody, anybody will praise you. Melania, please praise this man. He needs you. And then he posted in the next tweet, he posted a photo, that photo that you've probably seen of Melania air kissing Justin Trudeau. Mm -hmm. Totally innocent, like not a big deal picture. But, she, you know, she's just doing one of the air kisses. And he said, your country needs you. Oh, Melania is otherwise occupied. Sorry, real Donald Trump. Thinking that that's, like, super clever. And then Chrissy Teigen got into the mix and said, and I quote, earmuffs for any kids that might be watching, LOL, what a pussy-ass bitch. Tagged everyone but me and honor Mr. President. And then she, tr both of them are now tweeting up like crazy, trying to get pussy ass bitch to go trending, like yeah, to make it viral. Cause when they go low, we go high. That's, this is what we're doing. So that's, I wonder what, what Michelle Obama thinks about that. Cause this is going high. Yeah. This is, this is going high. This is it's trying to get that there. to trend. So they're all like BFFs and Chrissy Teigen. This is her idea and John Legend's idea of classy with the K. This is how they this do. Is, this is going high. This is Democrats. Okay. All yeah. right. Now that we know what going high is. I mean, and they won't stop. Like, it's even this more. There, there's a million tweets about this. And unfortunately, most people are like, yeah, you go, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. You guys are awesome. Because mm -hmm. they have sheep for followers. Yeah. So this is where we are on that. And then the other big story is about Kamala Harris. Oh, my gosh. She got caught in the biggest lie. And then she lied again. Yeah. She just keeps lying. So there's a video that is posted from a campaign event of hers in which some guy stands up in the audience to ask a question and he's asking, it doesn't even matter what the question is because at the end of the question, he says something about our current president being mentally retarded. And so 
he that's what he says and so immediately she busts into her cackle right because that's <laughs> she's got a big time cackle yeah and she says and i quote <laughs> well said well said she said that twice yeah so clearly she heard him yeah well you you think but then apparently people got wind of it so she found out that other people heard that she said that so then she was like oh crap i gotta backtrack <laughs> well, oh no it was pretty amazing because yeah. she got she got called out specifically by mm -hmm. a reporter who was like so that that guy that stood up and called our president mentally, mentally retarded, retarded how you feel about that why did yeah. you what well, your response to mm -hmm. that was well said she was like oh and gosh, she said oh i didn't I, hear it i didn't i i was just trying didn't, to process yeah, didn't hear i mean it. i was just i couldn't because look at all of the stuff that i've done for the disabled yeah. she goes into this litany uh -huh. of things that she's done for the yeah. disabled didn't hear and it the reporter's like but you didn't like yeah. you didn't condemn his words yeah. oh well i i didn't hear that so lots of backlash mm -hmm. lots and yeah. so then she comes out with this video this new tweet that says and I quote, when my staff played the video from my town hall yesterday, it was upsetting. <laughs> I didn't hear the words the man used in that moment, but if I had, I would have stopped and corrected him. I'm sorry. That word and others like it aren't acceptable ever. Mm. So she's throwing that guy under the bus, even though she was like, yeah, well said you. <laughs> Here's the thing. Normally, I would say she's done. You know, you, well, Democrats get a pass for everything because yeah. you can you can wear a you, hey, Rob, you can like do the whole blackface thing and still be governor of Virginia, <laughs> you know, when you're a Democrat. But the thing but the thing is, you know, they get a pass. But the thing is with her, I think she was done. Five days ago. God, I, I don't think she's ever going to be president, but I still think, you know, well, this, this wouldn't matter to Democrats because, you know, you can, you can say whatever. I think, you know, Chrissy Teigen and, and John, what's his name, are living proof. You can say whatever. She banged her way to the top. <laughs> Who, Chrissy Teigen? No, Kamala. Well, her too, but... <laughs> <laughs> both, both of them yeah both of them did but the problem is i i went to do like a google i just wanted to see what would happen if i googled kamala harris apology or lies or whatever this morning and the first thing that came up was a cnn article praising her leadership for owning her mistake she didn't own it she literally said i didn't hear it she lied in oh her apology God. there's such there's and i'm like what is even happening freaking double standard it I is swear. ridiculous such a double standard it's and these unreal. these are the people who are like trump mocked a disabled reporter uh -huh, yeah no he didn't he absolutely and did not and been debunked yeah. i don't know how many times uh -huh. that has to be debunked. and she actually said that trump is mentally retarded she was like <laughs> Well said, well unbelievable. said. Unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. It's out of control. It's You can be a Democrat and do anything in this country. You can do anything. For real. Yeah. Ask Governor Northam. People are asking just, for just your ask money voice. Where are you going to bring me into this? <laughs> she does not have horse shorts on today. I got jeans on today. Screw the baby. <laughs> I hate them. Should we say that we got in trouble? We got in trouble, you guys. We got in trouble for doing, like, down low audio. But you should say what you really I said. I actually said trucking babies, okay? Because when we're in the studio, I'm afraid I would not say the F word. Because I'm afraid that we, at any time there can be a live mic. So what we did was, I don't know if some of you may not know this because you may not have listened to that show <laughs> last last week. But we thought it'd be funny to do, like, um, pretend audio of Bernie saying effing babies, right? Um, and then Rob was going to bleep it out because, you know, Bernie hates babies. And so what I did is I, I had Rob record me saying, trucking babies, <laughs> trucking, trucking okay? babies. And then he bleeped out the, the truck and trucking babies. And it sounded like I was saying the F word. But, and it was hilarious. And it was funny, but, you know, people, yeah, not people, but our executive producer got mad. <laughs> And he was, he was like, like he, it's a little too close. He goes, it sounds like you really are saying effing babies. And, Which and I'm was like, the well, point. that was the whole point is that Bernie <laughs> probably, is, he probably said that when he went backstage, he probably was like, you know, effing babies. <laughs> I hate babies, you know? And so, yeah, we got, so we got no, dinged for that. So we're we not can't, allowed to say that anymore. We can't. So we only, but we can say screw the babies and we yeah. don't even have to bleep it. And I could probably say freaking babies. Yeah, you can totally Or do screw that. the babies. <laughs> Uh, down with babies <laughs> ban all babies i can do that you know because he wants to ban he wants to ban factory farming and babies i'm pretty sure of it 
What a so, jerk that yeah. guy is. These people are lunatics. And if you're them. if you're missing context for that, it's because he there was a baby crying at one of his recent events, and he How was like, "Can we get that to?" Stop. If you didn't if you didn't hear about that by now, I just you have to go to our site and just do a search for Bernie and you have to watch it cuz it's it's actually hilarious, also terrifying, but also hilarious. He's not He's not a baby kid. I guess we should be cool with him for not being one of those just politician baby kissers, though, right? Everybody's like, let me hold a baby and yeah, kiss it. Yeah, when they He's really like, don't care. No, screw all the babies. Especially the Democrats when they really simultaneously want to kill the babies. <laughs> right. I mean, we know better. <gasps> At least he doesn't fake it, you know? He's just like, no, I hate all the babies, you know? <laughs> I hate all the babies. <laughs> Down with babies. <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, that's that's what happened. So we got in trouble. Um, I think we, we don't have much time today. No, we got to go. We have to we have a show today because we have an interview. That we we have an interview do. and it, there's stuff to do. You guys, we're really sorry. It's a crazy, crazy Monday. We hope you have a good one, though, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys.